This Baltimore police van, the department's rules on transporting people once arrested, and the actions of officers involved in the arrest of Freddie Gray, who died while in police custody, are all under scrutiny in the administrative disciplinary hearing for Lieutenant Brian Rice. He was the shift commander April 12, 2015, when officers arrested Gray and placed him inside the van. The officers did not restrain him with a seatbelt and found him unresponsive when the van arrived at the Western District Police Station. Rice faces 10 departmental charges, the three-member panel considering his conduct and whether he followed BPD policies and regulations. Several officers involved in Gray's arrest testified, Officer Edward Nero, saying he had never used a seatbelt on an arrestee, citing officer safety. He claimed it was too dangerous to do so. He said while in the van, several times Gray yelled, screamed and kicked, making the van rock and shake. And after Gray was found unresponsive, he had no reason to think the transport van had become a crime scene. There was no belief that anything was a crime scene. There was no belief a crime had occurred. Nero and fellow officer Garrett Miller both testified they were unaware of a new directive ordering officers to restrain detainees by using seatbelts. The department sent it out by email days before Gray's arrest. Miller also said Lieutenant Rice contacted the Force Investigations Team, or FIT, and his commanders after the incident. When asked if he had received any instructions, Miller said, I think so. I know it's standard protocol. But Miller added he had no specific recollection. Now, Detective William Porter also testified about twice asking Gray if he wanted to go to the hospital. Porter said he did not specifically talk to Lieutenant Rice about those conversations. Reporting live from Midtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.